All right, guys. We're just going to jump right into it here. We have the Blitz quarterfinals for the Hong Kong Pro Quest. After five rounds of Swiss, several players emerged flawlessly at 5-0. and One of them is Kelvin Law playing his signature Kano on, our, on the right against Eric Yu playing Chain. All right. Um, so this... This is the Blitz format, so things are going to be pretty quick here. Uh, I believe this is turn one. Kelvin popping Metacarpus nodes on turn one to get in for for eight here. Looks like uh, the looks like uh, Eric is running. Um, just give me a second here. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Eric is uh, running AB, AB, uh, AB2, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. I can't quite see. Crowded Dichotomy, actually, uh, that should be AB3 then. So AB3 plus Snapdragons here. So he's he prevented five damage there. Um, yep. I can't see the life total anymore, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully they'll fix that shortly. There we go. All right, yep, so Kelvin getting in on turn one with a pumped up fork lightning coming in for eight. Eric was able to block three, dropping down to 15. An excellent, an excellent uh, turn for uh, for Kelvin. Um, looks like he's going to activate Chain, create a Soul Shackle. This matchup is going to be pretty difficult for Chain since uh, he doesn't have that much time to uh, to get up enough shackles. And with this life lead that Kelvin has right now, it's going to be Pretty hard to overcome here. Looks like Kelvin's going to block for six here. Not really the turn that uh, Eric was hoping for here, I believe. Looks like he's just going to have to Arsenal pass here. Looks like he has an Art of War that he's going to keep for next turn. Kelvin ticking up his tunic. It's going to pitch a card and come in here with Nourishing Emptiness. That is a back-breaking card here. I mean, with the Art of War, there is a play he could make here if he has an attack action in his uh, uh, arsenal. There is conceivably a world where he could defend this Nourishing. However, that's going to cost him a lot of cards here and a lot of tempo. I think Eric's deciding whether or not to go for that Art of War defend from an Arsenal play. I don't even know if it's possible for him to do that. Looks like he's just electing to take six here. Oh, drop it down to nine, and that is that is not good. Kelvin drawing five cards here with an arsenal. This is almost certain death here. Missing on the shackle. This game could be over very, very, very quick here. Activating chain, creating a second shoal shackle here. Looks like it was a plunder run that was in his hand. Coming in with a CNC for nine. He does have the Art of War in hand and pitch available. So this is a very sneaky CNC here. Kelvin's going to block for nine, and this he's going to pump this, I believe. 
Or not. Nope, nope. He's content to take three cards and continue with the game. He's going to keep that uh, Art Award hand. Calvin coming in with a Crucible into Aether Spindle here. Coming in for five. He's going to get to opt at least two here. For those of you just joining us, we just concluded the Hong Kong Nationals uh, main event. Uh, congratulations to Bun, who took down Jack in the grand finals of that. That is an excellent game. If you have a chance, make sure you check that out. That was a, one of the best games of FAB I've ever seen in my life. Getting back to this game, uh, Eric is uh, deciding what to do here. If he has a blue, he's probably going to pitch it away to block a little bit. Giving Kelvin a opt five is just going to be death here, especially if he drops down to four. There's basically no way that he could uh, could conceivably come back. An opt five allows Kelvin to sculpt a hand and know what's on top of his deck. And at four, with still with Stormstrider still available available. Uh, he's going to drop down to four. I really, really don't like this play uh, unless he was starved for a blue. Opt five here is going to be the end of the game here for Eric. Kelvin still sitting at 15 life here. I mean, this could be a flawless game from Kelvin here if he, uh, if he wants. Let's see. Looks like he's going to put three of them on the top, two of them on the bottom. So he does not know what the top card of his deck will be. Snap back for three. Oh. Going down to one is beyond death here. This, this is absolutely brutal for Eric here. He's going to pitch an Art of War, prevent one of the damage take one here looks like that was a yellow snap back there or i guess he he blocked two of it that was a red snap back looks like he's missed on a shackle here and at three life points this is uh <laughs> wow He's going to get killed with Art of War on the stack, I think. Just another day in the office for Kelvin here. Kelvin is uh, one of the uh, strongest Kano players in Hong Kong. He's been playing for eight or nine months at this point, and he's racked up over 3,000 experience points. And the only reason he's playing in this instead of uh, in the top eight of the um, main event is because uh, he bubbled on ninth. So it's, uh, I guess this turn, this uh, pro quest here is kind of his redemption here. Calvin deciding whether or not to let that Art of War resolve. If he lets it resolve, the... Uh, Eric is going to have two cards in hand, but he's likely to play them out, so uh, he might he might go for the kill here. He might just wait for Eric to play out a little bit more of his hand. Looks like he's just going to activate Storm Striders here, Crucible, and launch a, a Lesson in Lava at him for four, putting him to the test with one card in hand. Uh, one pitch here. Gonna have to pitch this card. Looks like he just got that's it. Wow. A flawless game from Kelvin. <laughs> Ending the game on 15 life here. That was uh